Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss soul number two with the Pythagorean numerology. Um, so your soul number is added through the vowels within your name at birth. I've been getting a few questions regarding people saying, what about my mother's maiden name, etc. Definitely appreciate the question, guys. I love it. I love the interactions. So the essential part of this is that always remember, numerology is all about simplification. It's all about like knowing how what you have to add how you have to add it it's all given there um, numerology works is a great site that i use when i want to look at pythagorean numerology um, it's numerology but the works is just an x at the end the dot com um, but it's a really great site if you want to learn more about your numbers in any sequence it gives you the full uh, chart there and how numbers weigh out in your chart etc so it's amazing um, but to continue on here though the vowels in your name is what actually gets you um, your soul number the reason why the vowels do is because they're softer layers. They're the more subtle parts and they're your inner essence. So when you look at a soul number, you're really getting like who the inner you is. Uh, maybe you might even find your purpose when looking at this number. The life path can give you your circumstances, expression, your natural talents and abilities and shortcomings. But then that soul number might give you your life purpose. It might give you your natural tendencies, even, even feelings that you may have that you didn't realize why you had them. It's all found in this soul number. So it's a great number to know. And I, I would agree that it's actually very, very important. Um, so with the soul number of two, it's all really about harmonizing with others. Now, the basic concept of the two is that it's secondary. It's the sidekick. It's the moon, not the sun. So it's seen in the darkness, not the light. Uh, but, but it's very, very powerful. Like I always say about twos, uh, it's like an oak tree. It bends, but does not break. A one will actually break. And I'm a soul number one. But either way, like, whoa, we'll lose willpower after a while. Whereas a two... Um, you guys have a lot of yin energy, whether you're a man or when you have that yin, that feminine dark energy that can receive even hardships in life and feel emotionally uh, damaged by it, but then still like continue on regardless of what's happening. So that's an extreme power that you should look into and always understand that your internal endurance is literally infinite. You can take whatever life gives you, accept it, and your emotions will feel it very deeply. You guys are very emotional, very sensitive but you'll absorb it and become harder from it. And that's the whole concept. That's what the moon gives you is that power to adapt through the water. Um, for careers for soul number one, uh, what I'd recommend particularly is anything to do with in interacting with people, whether that be through charity events or in the medical field or legal field. So things like nurses, doctors, um, lawyers, specifically dealing with like even divorce, things like that, um, just or even like mediators. Uh, just reason why is because your whole soul's destiny is to really v look at how to harmonize with the people around you and just people in general and bring people together. So it's really about like peace and bring forth that um, harmonizing energy and showing people that there's a different way to live through love. And I know it sounds a bit corny, but the two, if it's your soul number, you can also use it in a very manipulative way, meaning you guys will naturally receive people's energy, like just feel their aura. Um, and you can actually use that to your advantage very well because you're, you're able to, your soul's able to actually detect what a person likes, what they dislike, and you can feed them whatever you really want. Essentially, I'm not telling you to do that, but that's an option that's there for you. Um, I definitely recommend that, especially if you're under like tyrannical parents, especially if you're going through any abuse in a relationship, um, you got to find your way out. Twos are very um, susceptible to victimization in that sense because you guys feel very deeply. And I always say this, no matter what position this plays in the chart, if you have a two there, just watch out for that emotional vulnerability that may lead you to be weak. It's a strong element to have, to have that emotional openness and that open mind to circumstances. However, it can make you end up becoming a bit um, vulnerable to people that are not as sensitive as you. I mean, if you run into somebody like an eight or a one, that's not that sensitive, that can just take things on the nose. Um, you may find what they say to be really bothersome it may bother you for days to come whereas a normal regular person would just say well whatever the whole gain behind it i would say is the fact that you guys are still able to absorb it and you guys won't have any lingering issues like uh, somebody like an eight or one like i said they'll take that and they'll take it on the nose sure 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 but they're not really processing what was said they're not really processing how they feel because they don't really deal with their emotions Whereas you, you're actually dealing with your emotions right away. So there's never any lingering feelings that have been left in this in your subconscious. It's all in your conscious mind. You're very, very aware of it. So that's a very advantageous thing if you actually look at it from the proper perspective. Um, tips that 
they give for Western neurologists actually give for the number two is that um, you should not be too overly sensitive. Um, get used to dealing with people like up your social skills. So like if you're not very a social person, you're a bit of an introvert. If you have a soul number two, you want to get out there. You want to interact with as much people as possible because if you guys isolate too much, you'll end up becoming depressed, pessimistic. So you guys want to really get out there and interact with other people and just um, use people like you get networks and you guys, they always say in numerology that twos can't really start businesses, but I'd, I'd beg to differ. I, I, I'm not going to go and back that up. I think you guys can definitely start businesses. I think you guys are great for group businesses. Like one's maybe good for like regular entrepreneurship or like a stockbroker or truck driver, something like that. But if you're a two, you can build things. You can be an athlete, be the captain of your team. You can make the decisions. It's just you have to have, you just have to get over the emotional turmoil that goes on inside of you. Once you can control your emotions as a two, you're literally unstoppable. There's nothing that can stop you because you literally will be able to have the best intuition. You can make great judgment calls and you're able to bring people together for a greater purpose. And that's your whole soul's purpose is to do that. Um, it's usually supposed to be because you're number two. It's to say that you're dissolving your ego. It's not always about you. So your purpose may benefit a large amount of people. It may benefit just a group of friends. It may benefit just your family. But it's usually not necessarily about you. You'll benefit from it. It's because we all have to benefit from what we do. But it may not necessarily be completely about you when you actually achieve your purpose. It may help a lot of people or maybe even your children's children, things like that. Um, so that's the general synopsis for the soul urge number two. Um, we're going to get into 11. I'm going to do the master numbers, like I said, in a separate video just because they all, for soul numbers, it's a bit of a deeper explanation that I think deserves its own video. And I want to definitely give details on that. Um, but to, just to give the end remarks, just remember that you're controlled by the moon as a soul urge number two. When you have that moon energy, control your emotions and the rest of the world will submit to you. That's literally it. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please, if you have any questions, just throw in the comments for me. Or I've been loving the emails I'm getting. Just send it to Shem underscore Roy at Hotmail.com. The link that's also in the description. Um, but aside from that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, holla at me. That's it.